Hey guys, this is your girl Valerie, otherwise known as Sass France One. Welcome back to my channel. For all of you that are new, my channel, I want to first say welcome, welcome, welcome. And my channel is all about thrifting. I thrift, have been thrifting for years. This is not new with the trend that's coming in now where everybody's doing it. I have been thrifting for a long, long time. So, I love to thrift. It's one of my passions to do that. I love fashion. I love going out in these streets to secondhand shops and finding all these unique pieces. I go to vintage shops. I go to consignment shops. I go to all secondhand stores that have pre-loved items. So, I have a very small haul for you today. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So, stay tuned. First item is my favorite. If you don't know, now you know. I found the pair of boots, guys. Check them out. Check them out. Nice. I need to polish them up a little bit. But yes, I know these boots were for me. You know how I know? I was going through the aisles. I go to the men's section, as you all know. And I was looking. And I saw a pair sitting on the shelf. And it's like, wow. But when I got them, I looked at the size on the inside and it says nine and a half. So I wear a size seven and a half in men's shoes. These said nine and a half. I tried them on and they fit perfectly. Then later on, I went over to the women's section, saw a pair just like them. So maybe someone saw them in the women's department and then decided to move them over to the men's. But only difference is they had these for $9.99. And the other pair that I saw in the women's section was a smaller size. It was only for $7.99. But I don't care. $10. Genuine leather too. Oh yeah. Get my western outfit together okay let's move on next thing i'm going to show is purses i love this little purse i found this little purse and i got it mainly because it had the v on there the v for valerie really cute crossbody or like i said guys if you want to wear your um your crossbodies as a waist belt just wear it like that let me bring it down a little bit just wear it like that tie it in a knot on the side that's if you want to wear it that way but I probably will wear it as it should be sorry about that get you back up there you go I'll just wear it as a crossbody Love that. Found this little bag here in the remnant section. Just a little bag. And on the front it says Fendi, I believe. The hardware says, if you can see that, let me back up a little bit. It won't focus really well. But it has the Fendi initials on it, I think. Only thing about it, it has a little mark on here, like someone must have laid it next to a light bulb or a candle. It has a little mark right there, but cute little case. I can carry my makeup or cosmetics in. This is another cosmetic bag I thought was so cute. Oh, it's gold and had the little B on it. Still got the price on it, $1.99. Oh, camera's not focusing today. But anyway, thought that was really cute. Uh, this bag here, this is gorgeous. Let me take this off. If guys, I think you may be familiar with the Dior. I forget the, the style name of this bag. But it is a dupe of the Dior bag. And I'll post a picture of the Dior bag. And... This, as soon as I picked it up, felt so good. It, it just felt different. 
And I've seen a lot of bags that had the same kind of dupe appearance or, or a replica of the appearance of the Dior bag. But they were um, faux leather. But this is real leather. And this is from the designer, Carla Mancini. Carla Mancini. Looked her up. She's an Italian, I believe an Italian um, designer. Here she goes. Hope you can see that here. And if you go on, if you go on her her website, if you go on her website, you will see what her bags run about. They're pretty much the same pricing um, as um, is it Brandon Blackwood? I may be mistaken. I'm saying his name incorrect. Um, saying his name incorrectly, but I'll put the name on the screen. But it falls under the same prices around that price range. But I thought this was beautiful and it feels so, so good. Pretty good shape. Okay, now the next one. Okay, guys, you know, almost every haul that I have is something that I found or something that I find that don't know if it's real, but I don't know till I get it home. And this is another bag. It says Prada. It has this feet set, feet at the bottom. It has this, I believe this is called eel skin, eel skin, or ostrich. I think it's more ostrich. Gorgeous bag. It has a number on the inside. But every, just trying to pull it up online, it brings up bags, but it doesn't have this exact brand. So I don't know, guys, if this is genuine or not. But it's gorgeous. It is real leather as well. Thought that was a great one. Okay, if you've seen my Come With Me thrift, thrifting um, to the Goodwill, there were some pieces that I did purchase that I have to show you. Did you guys enjoy that thrift trip with me? I had a great time doing it. This is one piece. Remember, I did get this dress. Gorge, gorge, gorge. It fits like a glove. I'll show, take some pictures, guys, and let you see everything that I um, that I purchased, and I will model and style them for you. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the bold, bright colors. It's like a, um, it's almost like tie dye, and the deep, rich jewel colors against this melanin. It is absolutely gorge. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And guys, you could probably wear this in a lot of ways. Or more than one way. That's a basic sundress. You can also wear it over jeans. I guess that's the trend. When you're wearing a dress over slacks gorgeous okay let's move on okay another thing that I purchased remember this this was that silk men's pajama top I like the neutral colors stripes the short neutral colors or if you want to um, color mix you not color mix but print mix you want to mix the prints the best way to mix prints is to just ensure that you're using the same colors. For instance, if you had a skirt and it had these main colors in the skirt, majority of them are these main colors in the shirt, you can pair this stripe even with a floral. So, love this. I can wear this a lot of ways. I can wear it dress it up. I can dress it down. Um, I have a lot of dress slacks I can wear with this. And if I just want to wear it for a casual pair of shorts, I can wear it with that too. Okay. I also got this vest. 
Sorry about that. Got this vest. Really like that. I'll show you. I just like this because it's vintage. I like I said, I shop at a lot of vintage stores and there are so many ways that you can wear this. You can wear this with a dress. You can wear this with a skirt. Of course, you can wear them with pants. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. I'm thinking about wearing this with uh, maybe a white tee underneath and a pair of denim jeans and a pair of cowboy boots. Yeah. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, I like the pointed collar here. Or let's say the lapel. If I can get it right for you guys. Here we go. I think I would head it right. Here we go. It is a double breasted. It's double breasted. See the pockets in the front. Love these pointy lapels. Just a good piece. Good, good piece. I also got this one. Remember this one? What's the black and white one that had the have buttons on it? Let me turn you outward so you can see. Here you go. I'm wearing a lot of camouflage lately. I don't know. I'm just into it. But yeah, this would look good also with a maybe a white blouse. That way it'll bring out the lapel, these little panels here on the side. You can see those better if you had a, a white or cream top. But I see wearing this with a pair of black or either cream wide leg pants. Yes. Vintage. Pockets in the front. Really, really nice. Okay. We're almost done, guys. Told you this would be a short one. I also got this cami really cute it felt it feels like silk but it's not um, I think it's polyester but I just thought the colors were really really pretty and again um, I found this in the lingerie department or section and you can wear this over maybe in the winter time because we tend to wear we tend to wear dark, dark colors in the winter, but this would be nice if you had this over maybe a turtleneck or a shirt underneath this with just a pop of color to bring that out. It's a paisley print. All these colors in there, you can match them up with any of those colors that's there. Okay. Told you I was in the camo. Found these camo pants. They are really, really big on me. I lost some weight, guys, over the past couple of months, especially in school. Those kids had me running up and down the place like crazy. But anyway, yes, I love these. They're saying that camo is now a neutral. Some agree, some don't. But I love these. They have a drawstring at the end. Your basic pockets everywhere. Here in the front. Love these. And I probably wear them a little baggy too because that's the thing that's into. Okay, this dress, guys. You may have seen this on Pinterest. There's a model um, that is um, styling this, especially on Pinterest. And what it is, a mesh, a mesh long maxi. I do have a lot of mesh tops but I saw this and she was modeling this but I loved it so much I purchased it haven't worn it but um just thought it was really nice different kind of flair okay the next piece I have is in the men's athletics section remember guys from the video I did see this jacket here and it's just a vintage jacket as well and it has Fila on it. 
stripes. Here you go. Typical stripes on the side. And it has an opening back here. See how that is in the stitching? I don't know. Maybe that's just decoration, but but I loved it. Lightweight, you can wear on a cool day. And, and look, what I really like about it, it has in, on the inside where you can put your thumb through. Like that. You back up, guys. There you go. There you go. Love this. Because I love wear, wearing athletic wear as well. Like I said, your, your um, wardrobe should be diverse. You shouldn't be where you're just wearing only one type of style. That's what makes your whole wardrobe unique. Change it up a bit. Again, guys, come out of the box. Get out of the box. I have a few uh, jewelry pieces. One, I get asked about this right here. And I found, actually, I have another one here. I found this at a, a secondhand shop. Again, I don't know if it's real, guys, but it doesn't feel better. But um, it was just this. It looks like it came, it was a pen or something, or it came off a purse or something. But I listened to um, Beth uh, B. Jones, um, a YouTuber, lover, lover, lover. And um, she found one in a vintage shop, and she wears it as a necklace. And the only thing, it has little holes. Some of them do. This one, it didn't have anything but these clips right here in the back. If you can see that. Can you see that? It's like these clips. Let me get straight for you. These clips here in the back. But I put one of these. You can get these from the, um, the fabric store. Or uh, like Joanne's Fabrics or one of the one of those, and they're just um, these little hooks. Or Michael's the jewelry that sells jewelry, and it's just a little thing that you create pins with. I just glued it onto the back, and I wear that. And with the little, um, these have extra clips on them, but I put a pin on it too because I like to wear it as a pin. Can you see them from the side? I think you can see it from the side a little better. These clips were on there. Obviously, they must have come off a purse or something. I don't know. But what I did was just slide these, or either the pin, if you purchase the pin, and just slide it through the loops up here and wear it as that. Or if you want to wear it as a pin, wear it as a pin. It's all about style, guys. And that's what I try to teach on my channel. Because you can improvise, improvise using all types of items that you find. Um, jewelry, you can use them in different ways than other than as other than the way that they're normally worn. For instance, like I said, the belts can be turned into a necklace. As a matter of fact, this is another piece here that I found. I think I put this, um, showing you this in the last video. But this is a, a it, this is an example. I'm so tongue tied today, guys. I don't know what it is, but this is an example. This is a belt. And you see it has the clips on it here. And all you need to do, and most of the belts that you find can be used and worn as a necklace. I try to find so many different things that you can use or improvise. Look at that. See how pretty that is? It's a belt. It can't, couldn't fit. I don't know who had a waist that small. But anyway, it was a belt, and I took it, and I'm using it as a necklace. And it's the necklaces that are, or the belts, I should say, that are very decorative. You want them to be decorative, or, or just have enough decor on them where you can, where they can make and be a, a, a statement piece. But 
that is what I try to do on my channel. I try to find different ways where you can stretch your wardrobe. Not just clothing, but your accessories as well. Like scarves, you can use to tie around as a midriff. If you don't want too much of your skin showing, you can always wear a blazer or a lightweight duster over it. You can wear the scarf as a headband. Anything that you can do to stretch your wardrobe to really make it an interesting one. And let me get back with the jewelry. I did find these earrings here. Now, I have to tell you a story about these. I was getting ready to leave the uh, store and I was looking for some small earrings that I can put in my back holes on my ear. And I came across these. They didn't have a price on them or anything. So when I got to the counter, I asked the um, cashier, I said, is there any way that you get a price for me on these? They're really, really pretty. They're really pretty. And she went, called the manager. The manager went in the back, or the manager came from the back, went to the counter, and she took them off. It's like, I'm in my mind, it's like, She's just looking at him and looking at him. It's like, well, I got them from over on the side there because normally the most expensive jewelry is kept behind the counter. But these um, were on the side as you're going to the cashier. They have a whole rack of jewelry, five, less than $10 or whatever, whatever. So I saw these and it's like, it can be no more than five, or four or $5 or whatever. So she's looking at them and looking at them and pulling, taking the little stem, checking out the stem. She says, hold on, I'll be back. And I'm like, you take all that? So she went there and then she came back. And she said, these like Tiffany's. Tiffany, really? I mean, normally if Tiffany did make them, normally you have a stamp or something on them, but I guess not. She said, you know, they should have been over in the other case. These are Tiffany's. They should be in the other case. But I'll go ahead and let you have them for the $5.99. I said, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, thank you. So, one more item. And it's this little piece. I thought this was so cute. It's just a rope. It looks like a rope here. And a little seashell. So cute. So cute. So, guys, that is it for this haul. Oh, I know it was short and sweet, but I'm coming back up with some other great ideas. And again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you are out there with a new uh, mind frame of getting out there in those secondhand stores and finding some fabulous pieces and items. Let me know what you've um, purchased from any of your local thrift stores or secondhand shops or any shops that have that are pre-loved items and let me know what you how you style them um, you may give me some ideas and we can share our thoughts together right so until then guys keep on shopping be happy be blessed and always remember to live fashionably ever after because this is what we do on my channel love you guys see you later <laughs>